Hi everyone, if you would like to see how to achieve this yellow and brown smoky eye, please keep on watching and I hope you enjoy this look and get something out of it. Of course, I'm taking my P. Louise base on the Sigma S15 Gel Mask Brush. I just find this brush really helps me pat this base in really quickly as it is very dense. Now I'm just using this scrapbooking tape to create myself a wing. So put this where you imagine, say, if you did a wing liner or wing shadow in this case, where you think that should go. Today I am taking the Carnival palette from Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie and I mean look at it, wow. I'm diving into this beautiful brown shade Rowdy on the Sigma E25 brush and I'm just packing that right on the edge of the lid and you can see I'm packing that onto the tape and then I'm slowly, ever so slowly, working it upwards and across because I'm not adding more pigment, I'm just using what I've got and bringing it up into the winged eyeshadow shape that I want. And I'm not actually going to blend this with another shade on top to make it perfect. So just continue to blend this slowly with that brush until you think it is seamless with no harsh lines. Now I'm diving into the shade Keen, this beautiful yellow, and once again I am packing that on the inner lid and then bringing it up into the crease to where I'm happy with, but I'm going about the height of the brown shade we just put on. We are literally making this yellow and brown shade look like they are almost one, so you're blending them into each other seamlessly, and I really love how this type of blending looks with two shades that work this well together. I just think it looks flawless and it's just a little bit of something different. Also, I'm using the same brush but a different one. So the Sigma E25, I have two of these because they are one of my favorites. But of course, you can just clean off the one you put the brown on and go in with the yellow. Now I'm just going back in with the smallest amount of the brown and just putting that back over the top of the yellow. I find this going back and forth between shades is the best way to know that your shades are blending together perfectly and it's just a foolproof sort of method. Now I'm just taking a black shade, this one's from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using the Sigma E36 brush to create an eyeshadow winged liner with this black. And then I'm just going to use a little pencil brush to bring that along the lash line area. Now here is where I'm just finishing the left eye but then going back and forth and sitting back and having a look at how both of them look and making sure the eyes are the same. Remember to always do this between each step. Now I'm taking off the tape and look at that. Tape is, I don't find tape cheating. I just think it's a really great way if you're learning or you don't want to get eyeshadow everywhere to perfect your look it is literally what taught me how to do wing liner without tape was using it for a while now i'm just taking the sigma e e25 brush again with that brown shade onto the lower lash line and then i went in with the little pencil brush with the black on it just to place it on the outer corner of the lower lash line and matching it up with the top wing i remember this is a really important thing to do to make your eye looks come together then I put yellow all over the inner lash line and then I'm going in with the Down Under Cosmetics pigment in Wattle. This pigment is amazing, yeah. And I'm basically just putting that everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> I feel like I just spoke on times a thousand speed. 
Anyway, now I'm putting the medium brown pomade from Kat Von D on the waterline. As you know, I use all my brow pomades on the waterline and they last forever. And I also love the look of using brown instead of black. Now going in with my Livia Lashes in the style Kim. I love these lashes. I think they are my all time favorite. Okay, so basically what I do is I place them on the center. So I just place them there, hold it for a second, and then I drag the two ends into position. This is fiddly, it takes time to learn, but just stick it straight down in the center while you're looking a little bit down and then dragging it where you want it. And don't forget, the glue goes clear, so you won't see it. And if you do get it everywhere, just dab it off with a cotton bud. And yeah, that is the look done. I hope you like this look and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Please remember you can always let me know your thoughts, good, bad, whatever they are that's constructive criticism, let me know. Bye guys.